Hey everybody, so I'm out at the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm running out of some stuff for my kit that I need to replenish. Sorry about how I look, but you know, um, so I figured it'd be nice to take you guys along. Sorry, I'm using my iPhone, so it's not gonna be as clear as if I was using my camera, but hey, this is an impromptu <laughs> last minute thing. I was like, this would be nice to take them along. So what I'm gonna do is go on a Dollar Tree. And show you guys some things that you can put in your professional makeup kit. Yes, at the Dollar Tree. Being a makeup artist can be very expensive. And so, the stuff that you don't have to get from MAC, Sephora, um, Nercosco, Ulta, and you can find it cheaper, I'm going to help you, okay? Come along with me to the Dollar Tree. This owl sanitizer. You can never have enough hand sanitizer in your kit. Spray bottles for alcohol, brush cleaner, and etc. Clippies right here to pin your customer's hair back so that your customer can see themselves in case there's not one near. EPN save this, um, serve the same purpose to pin the hair back caps in case you're doing a photo shoot and you need to put it over their face while they put their clothes on along to the baby owl wipes I typically like the kind that come in the red pack because they're for the face also disposable sacks you put all your disposables in after and just trash it after every job shampoo of course to clean your brushes moving on to the makeup owl okay these bottles right here spray bottles for storage of moisturizer and etc. Your section, Q-tips, and they even have the cosmetic kind with the pointed tip. Wedge sponges, my favorite. You get a uh, 28 in that pack. Knockoff ones of oh, the wet wipes, but see they say for hand and face. Makeup. You can always come across like wet and wild and etc. in here. The hygiene side. Just as mascara ones. There's, you always need scissors to cut like lashes and etc. Containers are great for depotting items, especially this seven jar right here. That's good for like NYX Jumbo pencils and lipsticks. That's the color of the container. All this right here is only 50%. I typically like a percent higher, but any would do. For your sharp edges, great alternative for shadow shields too. Tape, scotch tape, better than that other brand. The arts and crafts section and see if we can find anything we can use. Cute jars for giving your clients sample of stuff um, and glitter. I wouldn't recommend this for the eye, but you can use it on face and body. Sequence if you're doing something dramatic. Use dishwasher detergent to clean my brushes. This is a very good one. It's the trial size, but the done platinum. Cute phone cases for an iPhone. Yeah, I'm off track, but hey, you get it. Right there. Kleenex are good for spot cleaning your brushes in between and etc. Spray bottles if you want to carry around big bottles like that. Straws. I know this seems weird, but some people like to drink while you're doing their makeup. Even after you've done their lipstick, you don't want them to mess it up. So get some straws. Text gloves in case you deal with like body paint and etc. Have these containers. You can store stuff in over here in this department. Ziploc bags. I use those for um, storing my pencils and etc. Here's more of these. Another shape. One dollar. Okay, let me show you what I got real quick to refuel for the night. I got these, and what I also like using these for is I take the brush out and use the top. I stick my disposable lip wand in there and give a, a people samples of their lipstick. So this has two purposes. It can do bottom lashes real good, and I use it as a storage container to give my clients um, lipstick to go. Okay, I also picked up some of these wipes. These are always good for you in your kit. To wipe down your makeup, wipe your hand, whatever you need. Kind of like baby wipes. 
and um yeah please wipe your palettes and stuff off and brushes um i will not let you touch me if your brushes and your makeup palettes and stuff are very filthy it look like you haven't cleaned them since you started doing makeup i picked up gum like i said this is good you are in people's faces and they are in yours so offer them a piece also okay Always, I always pick up more of these when I go. I have like a bag of these and I keep adding to them because one time I ran out and couldn't find any at any Dollar Tree and almost had a fit. But yeah, this is the latex wedges. Dishwasher detergent to clean my brushes. I stay cleaning brushes. Please clean your brushes, people. That's another thing. If I go to get my makeup done by somebody and their brushes are dirty, you will not be touching my face. Hello? I picked up these little bitty storage containers i don't know why but i'll find use of them some kind of way so that's what i picked up today okay you guys that's about it for now of what i can find if you guys can think of anything let me know because you guys know being a makeup artist is very expensive to replace our kits and etc so anything helps i hope this video was helpful thanks for watching